Okay, so we're back with another absurd innovation. And uh, for this one, I'm actually not sure if it's going to work. Um, one of the follow-up comments that I got from my can you use a DBLA speaker as a speaker phone, which that question turned out to be yes, or the answer turned out to be yes, and you can successfully, as absurd as it sounds, you can use uh, such an expensive speaker as a speaker phone. And so one of the follow-up comments was, can you use the DVLA, DVLA speaker as a PA system, something that you could hook a microphone up to and uh, speak into to amplify the sound of your voice? Um, and so we're going to try that out today. I actually have a lot of concerns about, if it does work, I have concerns about feedback. Um, but we're, we're doing such a Frankenstein connection of cables that uh, I'm not sure will even be successful. So what we have here is um, pretty much the same setup from last time with a couple added pieces. So we have the uh, DVLA speaker here. We have uh, an optical cable that comes out of it. And one of the drawbacks that I've learned not knowing uh, the setup of this process is the DVLA speaker is actually a little bit fragile. It certainly is very heavy, and so moving it around is a bit cumbersome. But if you find used versions of this, um, you'll often see ones that have dents on them, and that's because uh, these side pieces on both sides are actually quite fragile, and um, they move in and out when playing bass and, and loud music. And so if they're up against a wall or something, um, they could certainly dent on their own, but more likely than not, somebody um, actually bumped into them accidentally, and uh, you'll find these with dents in them. So whenever I've had to plug in the optical cable, uh, it always takes great care. The first thing is there's not an easy plug to just access. It's actually underneath the power cable. So you have to turn the whole unit upside down, which is heavy enough, and you can't roll it on its side or else you'll dent these um, side pieces. And so you have to lift it up and turn it upside down and then unplug the, the main power jack from the back and hidden underneath is the optical cable port. So uh, if this is a setup that you want, um, set it up once and don't mess with it because it's just a bit cumbersome. So we have the optical cable here that will go into uh, one of my old receivers. And then from the receiver, we have uh, RCA jacks and a three millimeter um, auxiliary jack, you know, like what you have on your headphones. And this now, this went to my phone in the original speakerphone video. This now will go into this coupler, which will allow for a line in from uh, a couple microphones that I have. I have this cardio mic, and then I have a regular handheld mic. And we will see whether or not this works or not. So, be back in a minute while I connect all these pieces together. Okay, so we're back, and I connected things to hook up from the DVLA speaker optical out to the receiver through the RCA to 3 millimeter cable to my phone, and the Phantom is set up to take the optical in. And uh, I have it connected to my phone just to make sure that the sound works. So what we're going to do is play some royalty-free music, and... The sound should start coming through. There we go. It's coming through the speaker. It sounds nice. This just proves that uh, this port is taking an input from this source. So if we change the source to a microphone, will the speaker transmit the sound? That's what we will find out right now. So let's disconnect this. Let's put on this coupler. And 
let's hook up this handheld microphone to start. And it's on. There's no off switch. There's increasing sensitivity. We're tapping on it, talking on it. No sound. Uh, no sound coming from the DVLA speaker. So certainly the microphone is transmitting sound and this port was receiving sound. I don't know about this coupler, um, whether it's bi-directional or not, whether there's a way to test uh, how it connects together. I don't know if this port does anything. Still nothing coming through the DVLA speaker. Let's try a cardio, cardioid mic that I have. So same uh, 3.5 millimeter end, but this is like a lapel mic that you would wear. Tapping, talking through, um, nothing coming through the DVLA speaker. So we know this part works. We know that the microphones do work um, when, when hooked up to your phone, you can get a recording off of this if you're taking a video. Don't know about this coupler, whether this transmits. I actually just pulled this off in a, another speaker setup where this is using to uh, extend a 3.5 millimeter line and it works for sure. Just don't know about the, the directionality or maybe it's something about transmitting sound. Um, but this one is a fail, at least with this setup can't figure out how to uh, hook up a microphone to the DVLA speaker. I did look to see if there was such a thing as an optical out microphone. Uh, maybe there's something that you could take a mic and directly plug it into the DVLA speaker. But uh, the only ones that I found were so like looks like standalone receiver units, um, smaller than this size, but still a few hundred dollars. So too expensive for me to try to test out just for this experiment. Uh, but for now, DVLA speaker as a PA system is absurd and a fail. Um, until next time, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks.